It's safe to say that bikes have come a long way since the early 1800s. It's not just the technology but the specializations and design for different uses. Therein lies the benefits of getting a steed to match the way you ride, and its particular challenges. You may think that the differences between the types are subtle until you take it on the road. You will find tweaks in the design and components that optimize the biker's experience. In this video, let's explore the similarities and dissimilarities between these two popular models, beginning with a discussion of what you should look for in a ride. Features that the two bikes share You will find that the options of a cyclocross VS hybrid bike overlap. It makes sense that the basic functionality is the same to travel across land safely and efficiently. Both types are suitable for pavement whether you're biking across town or commuting to work. Both are lightweight to make it easier for you to traverse the flats and the climbs. You will find that both are responsive, making them good choices for urban riding. Hybrid Bike As the name implies, a hybrid bike is a creative and practical blend of a mountain bike and a road bike. This bike is suitable for commuting through busy city streets as well as exploring mile hills and slopes. Hybrid bikes, like road cycles, are light and portable. At the same time, they are tough and come with fixed gear that makes mountain climbing a breeze. It's important to remember that a hybrid bike cannot be utilized for strenuous mountain climbing. If you have a hybrid bike, modest hills should be your priority. Cyclocross bikes Cyclocross bikes, on the other hand, are self-explanatory. It's a type of cyclocross bike that can be utilized in races. A cyclocross race involves cycling over mud, grass, and even sand. As a result, if you want to compete in a cyclocross race, all you'll need is a cyclocross bike. Cyclocross bikes are most commonly utilized for racing. However, some models can also be used for daily commuting and recreational purposes. The cyclocross bike can handle any terrain with ease and comfort. At first glance, cyclocross bikes look to be very similar to gravel bikes, but closer scrutiny reveals that cyclocross bikes have narrow tires. The differences between the two rest in their versatility. A cyclocross bike shares some features with road bikes, making them primarily a ride for pavement. A hybrid model has some elements of a racing steed along with a mountain bike. That means you can take them off the beam path on gravel or dirt road. You have more functionality that transcends into the components and the bike's geometry. That's why we place so much emphasis on how you ride. Tires in a hybrid lean toward the wider side unlike that of the cyclocross unless it's designed for off-road racing. You will also see differences in brakes with the former favoring the V-type versus the disc brakes in the latter. Differences exist with the riding experience. You will likely see both cyclocross and hybrid bikes with drop handlebars especially those that are more in touch with their mountain bike routes. When choosing between the two, it boils down to decisions between comfort, aerodynamics, and versatility. Other factors to consider are stability and maneuverability. It's safe to say that the lines are blurred between the two. The specs offer an excellent way to see how the design affects your ride. Answering these basic questions will guide you toward the best bike for you. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.